What exactly do you mean by college is a scam? Um, good question. I wrote a whole book about it. Uh, largely the value proposition that you are being offered is not worth the time or the money that many of you are forking over. There's exceptions to that generally, but uh, for example, the vast majority of students that graduate from four-year college, uh, they'll end up getting a job if they get a job at all in a, uh, in a career or a job that doesn't require a college degree. So henceforth asking the question, why do they go to college in the first place? Okay, now what do you mean about uh, jobs that don't require a college degree? Like working at Starbucks as a barista. Okay. Uh, so what exactly uh, do you mean by uh, the value proposition not being sufficient for the uh, cost of going to college? Yeah, so I mean going thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars into debt, uh, that's a significant thing. And hopefully if you're gonna do that, uh, you're gonna be able to prove and have some value uh, for that for that reason. So for example, there was a study that just came out in the last day, the 16 lowest paying job majors. Um, and the vast majority of those are actually what kids study in college. Right, communications, liberal arts, things of that nature. And so the question is, why even go to college at all if you're just basically getting a credential that is worth less and less money in the marketplace? Now, if you study engineering, if you study finance, terrific, but the scam also is just beyond the financial value proposition. It's um, the ideological pollutants that are spread on college campuses and the, uh, let's just say, some of the left-wing indoctrination that occurs here as well. Okay, so. Moving aside from uh, that red herring there, uh, I myself okay. am a uh, communication major, and uh, I am very well aware of the uh, communication majors who just take a four-year degree and uh, go into jobs that d either don't require a degree or... Try to get as close to the mic as you oh. can. Is that okay? Thank you. It's okay. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I'm aware of the communication majors who only get a bachelor's degree and if they're lucky they're only able to get research assistant jobs in communication or not even get a job that requires a uh, degree at all but would not those who uh, continue on to get masters and doctorates in communication who get hundreds uh, who get a hundred thousand dollar a year or two hundred thousand dollar a year uh, research jobs would that not counteract uh, the total economic, uh, socioeconomic value of those who just go into college and then end up Starbucks baristas? Uh, potentially, yeah, I mean, also master's degrees are expensive, right? PhDs are expensive, so you're looking at least at $150,000 to $200,000 in debt, minimum, uh, if you're gonna do that. And if that's, if that's the path you wanna take, so be it. But there are 11 million job openings in the country right now that pay $80,000 or more that don't require a college degree. 11 million job openings. And I don't think we're always telling our young people, you know, the next generation that these jobs are available to you. It's an, it's an expectation that you go to four-year college. And in fact, you're treated and almost considered to be dumb if you don't go to four-year university. And I think that's a big mistake. And not to mention the vast majority, 41% of kids that enter college do not graduate. There, there's something deeply wrong with the system. So, so from what you're telling me, yeah, though, final point. Uh, from what you're telling me, though, it sounds more like uh, the problem lies not in uh, college itself, but rather the individual paths that people choose who look at a situation, make the wrong decisions, don't stay in school as long as they uh, need to in order to get the career that they want. Or they drop out because they don't see the value. They drop out because they don't think it's worth their time. And again, half of this audience, after 10 years, if they get a job, they'll end up getting a job that didn't require them going to college in the first place. Half. That sounds like a scam. Why are they here in the first place? Why are they borrowing all this money and spending four years on a university just to go get a job that never would have required them to get the degree or the debt or the four years being spent on campus? Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right.